An imaginary line drawn through the center of a planet or other celestial body is called its equator. At zero degrees latitude, it lies midway between the North and South Poles. The globe is divided into the Northern and Southern Hemispheres by an equator. The Latin word meaning even maker is where the word equator originates. Day and night is precisely the same duration at the equator throughout the year. At its equator, the Earth's diameter is approximately 12,756 kilometers, 7,926 miles. Its diameter at the poles is approximately 12,714 kilometers, 7,900 miles. The equatorial bulge of Earth is around 43 kilometers, 27 miles, in diameter. The equator is also where the Earth's diameter is larger, resulting in an equatorial bulge. A straight line with its ends on the circle's perimeter and passing through the center of the circle is used to calculate the diameter of a circle. The rotation of the Earth produces the equatorial bulge. A point must move more quickly to complete a circle, revolution, in the same amount of time as latitude lines are bigger. The equator traverses 14 nations' land masses and jurisdictional seas. The fastest dawn and sunset times are experienced by those who reside near the equator. In these locations, day and night last for 12 hours every year, however in regions north or south of the equator, the length of the day changes with the seasons. The two times a year when the sun crosses the equator directly in its yearly orbit are during the equinoxes of March and September. The equatorial regions of the Earth are home to both the highest concentration of natural biodiversity and the greatest concentration of human poverty, which may seem like contradicting facts. Brazil, Congo, and Indonesia are the only three nations on the equator that are home to over half of the world's rainforests. Every sailor who crosses the equator while at sea is supposed to participate in ceremonies that initiate them into the solemn mysteries of the ancient order of the deep, according to a maritime legend. In order to honor King Neptune of the Deep, those who have never crossed the line are called polywogs and must participate in a number of initiation rites carried out by crew members who have completed the voyage. After the initiation ritual is finished, the polywogs are referred to as the trusty shellbacks. The Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn are located at 23.5 degrees latitude, respectively, whereas the Earth's equator is located at 0 degrees latitude by definition. The middle latitudes and the polar areas on each side of the equatorial zone are the other climatic and biotic zones of Earth that are distinguishable from the tropics. True, the equatorial strip spans 3 miles, 5 kilometers. The latitude 0 degrees 0 foot 0 in this region fluctuates throughout the year in accordance with the Earth's revolution. Fact, because of the Earth's rapid rotation, the gravitational attraction is lessened toward the equator due to the increased centrifugal force. Myth, the Carriol's effect is a phenomenon that describes how the Earth's movement affects large air currents. It is a fact in theory for the same gravitational reason. It's simpler to maintain equilibrium there since gravity is less strong. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more educational videos.